Hi, I'm Ryan, and this time I'm going to talk to you about the semicolon, which is that one there. It's the weird mix between a comma and a colon, hence the semi. The semicolon is a really tricky punctuation mark, and I say that because even I don't get it right all the time, which sounds really arrogant because it's making me sound like I know how to do everything. I don't. But anyway, the semicolon is really tricky to work with. Basically, it has probably two major uses. The first is in lists where commas are already used. So you might remember that the comma is used to mark off lists. So I went to Victoria, comma, uh, New South Wales, comma, and Queensland, full stop. But when you separate it up so that commas are part of your list, you need a semicolon to clearly separate the items. So you might say, I went to Melbourne, Victoria, and as you can see, we need the comma to mark Melbourne and Victoria because we have city-state. So we'll say Melbourne, comma, Victoria, and then semicolon, uh, Sydney, New South Wales, and so on. You need the semicolon there because your comma's already being used. And if we comma it up, it's going to look like you've been to Melbourne, Victoria, Sydney, and New South Wales. And that's not really what you want to say. The other use for the semicolon is to show related ideas. And usually this is used in place of an and or instead of a full stop. Um, so we might say something like, the bear ate the entire man, including his jumper. He felt sick afterwards. Now you can see there in that sentence, we could put an and. Uh, he ate the entire man, his jumper, and he felt sick afterwards. And it makes sense. But we might want to separate them more as their own sentences. So instead of putting that and there, we can put a semicolon after the jumper. And it says, he felt sick afterwards. That shows that these ideas are related without being combined into one sentence. So it can be a good way to separate sentences so you don't have really long, lengthy, unwieldy sentences, but still show that the ideas are linked. That's all for semicolons this video. Good luck on using them because they can be tricky suckers. And if you need any other help with punctuation, you can check out our other videos.